Hey y'all, Jordan from Carolina Sewing back here, and today we are starting a brand new series that's going to be geared for beginner embroiderers. Uh, this first episode is going to be how to do a sweatshirt. That is going to be the same method and tools used to do a t-shirt, a jacket, long sleeve, a bunch of other stuff. So uh, anything you're doing like that, you can follow along with this, and all the stabilizer techniques is all going to be the same. So I'm going to show you what you need, how to hoop it, how to place it, and how to embroider it. So let's get into it. The tools I'm going to use for this are pretty simple and straightforward. Um, stabilizer, the medium cutaway. Nothing too crazy. Anytime I do something that's going to be worn and washed, I typically like to use that. This is not 100% necessary, but it's going to help it look even better. It's just a piece of water soluble topping to go on top of it. I like uh, the Sulky KK2000 spray. You can use any embroidery adhesive spray. Just be careful because some of them will gum your needle up. My favorite marking pen, 8012 ballpoint needles. Um, these are just really important when you're working with knits like this. It gives it a much better stitch. Going to be using a 5x7 hoop. A lot of designs that are going to be going on that left chest are really not quite a 5x7 hoop. You know, I think even the design I have picked out is would fit inside a 4x4, but when you do hoop with a 5x7, you have a lot more movement. Um, so instead of maxing out your 4x4 hoop and having to place it perfectly, this is going to give you a little leeway, so I like to do that. This is one of my secret weapons. This is an embroiderer's helper from um, Dom. These are great. Uh, they work for t-shirts. They really don't market them for sweatshirts, but I've done them before, and it um, gives you a good placement idea. You can always uh, move it around a little bit, but I'll show you how to use that. If you're doing something for yourself, maybe this is your first embroidery, I'd highly recommend put the shirt on or put your sweatshirt on, whatever. Uh, stand in front of the mirror, take your marking pen, center it up kind of like where you want it to be. You know what I mean? Um, just eyeball it there, and then you can use like a ruler to give yourself a crosshair that you can hoop up to later, um, and that's a great way to go from there. First things first, we got to mark it. However you want to do that, like I said, if you want to put it um, put it on, get in front of a mirror, do that. That is your first step. Um, I'm going to show you how to use this embroiderer's helper. So what you want to do is you want to just line this up with the center. You can fold this whole thing in half, but since I'm doing a sweatshirt, uh, it is a little thicker, so it can be kind of hard to get accurate. So I can line it up with where that crease meets the neck, and I know that's my center. I line it up with that right there. Take your marking pen. This is a size small, so it tells you what size to do it right here. So all you have to do, make sure you're straight, you can use this um, curve right here to line up to your next neckline. Just put a little marking. Grab your ruler. Line it up so it's straight like this. Make it a little heavier so you can definitely see it on camera. So then you want to take your center, where your dot is, horizontally line your ruler up, and then I use these grids on the inside to line that up to the top half of this line I just made, and that's going to guarantee that I'm, I'm straight. make a good marking. You don't have to do it super heavy, just so that you can see it. Um, the heavier you go, the more you'll have to erase, or if you don't have an eraser, the longer you'll probably have to wait for it to go away completely. Now we're going to get the stabilizer in place. So what you want to grab is your shirt and get it inside out. And you want to get it as flat as possible, so you're not working with the, any ripples or anything like that. Take your spray. I'm an oversprayer. You really don't have to do this much. I just like to make sure that nothing's going to slip when I'm hooping it up. So I can actually see my initial dot right here, which is kind of nice on this um, sweatshirt. That won't always be the case, but you know that it's going to be right here. Then I like to take my stabilizer, medium cutaway, and center it up. Always, always, always overcut your stabilizer. It's going to save you in the long run. It's going to make sure that you don't goof up and have something outside or inside your hoop and you don't have proper stabilization. 
Then you just want to give this a good firm press to make sure it's sticking everywhere that you sprayed. And then real carefully, this is a little bit harder on long sleeves and sweatshirts, but you want to turn it right side out. But you don't want this to move on you. That's why I use a lot of spray. And now we're ready to hoop. So get the hoop you're using. I do like to hoop whenever it's possible. And some things you're going to have to float, but on like the flatbed machines, like, you know, if you've got like a Destiny or a Solaris Altair or something like that, um, you're going to have to flip the back side of this upright so the hoop fits flat on. I'll show you what that looks like. But if you float it, a lot of times you take the risk of that slipping out. So I like to hoop it. So what I do is I'm going to loosen it up a lot. You want to be careful not to loosen up too much because these hoops will fall apart on you. And then you got a bunch of pieces laying over the floor. So loosen it up a good bit. Slip this inside. Be careful not to put it in between your stabilizer. All right. So your hoops have these little reference marks. That is for your grids that come with these to get your center. I like to use them to line everything up to make sure that I'm staying centered. They're microscopically off to the left. Never really seem to bother me. I know about it, so if it's gonna bother me, I put it just a little bit to the right of where I've marked and I'm usually pretty good. So this can be a little time consuming, but what you wanna do Move the inside hoop, the one that's inside your shirt, move it around to make sure that you're straight before you hoop anything tight. And once you've got these markings lined up with the marking you made, you want to just firmly press this in and make sure it's seated all around. Because with knits and stretching materials like this, you don't really want to have to pull, uh, if any at all, um, but you can just pull just to make sure that everything's taut. But if you stretch it out too much, when you pop it out of the hoop, you will distort the garment. Just make sure everything feels good. And you can reach in here, tighten that screw down. It's not gonna be near as tight as it was before, but you still wanna get it nice and hand tight before you start to move it because it could pop right out of the hoop and then you're back to square one. And then if you need to, you can come in here with a hoop driver and crank that down just the last little bit that you need. Um, this is the part where I like to just pull on all the edges, make sure everything feels good. I like to tap on the stabilizer and make sure that it doesn't have too much bounce to it. You are gonna have some just because of what the material is made out of, but you don't want, you don't want very much at all. So I'm gonna move this over to the machine, show you how to set everything up and how to line it up. This part right here is gonna be easier if you're using like a regular t-shirt or like a long sleeve tee, something like that. I did wanna use a sweatshirt because this is probably the hardest of the garments to work with in this method. Because if we put this in just like it is, we're gonna sew straight to the back. So you gotta get that back over top of it. So way to do that. I pretty much constantly hold right here, and I like to support it a little bit on the bottom. And you wanna reach your other hand here and bring it around so you're exposing the back of the hoop. And then bring it into your machine and you wanna carefully feed the excess garment under the foot. You may can have a little more um, lift with your foot but it's just kind of a slow process to get it like that. And then once you're good, you can take this and slide your hoop in just like you normally would. And then I like to come around here and just feel the edges and make sure that it is all on the outside of it. 
just like that. So you're gonna have like this kind of bowl situation going on, depending on you know what you're doing. If it's like a small t-shirt, you may have to sit here and hold it. You may be able to clip it with like some wonder clips or something like that. This is seeming to hold itself up pretty good, so that's a win. So now you can come over here, pull up your design for whatever you're doing. This is gonna depend on what kind of machine you have for the placement. Uh, I'm on the Solaris Vision here. It's got the projector. Um, I'll, I'll show you how to do it with that. And I can also show you how to do it with a laser if you have a machine like most of them, them have now with lasers. It, you may even have one available for your machine if it didn't come with it. I highly recommend lasers. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So now for the placement, you wanna make sure that you got your ballpoint needle in here. Almost forgot that myself. For the sake of the video, I came in and darkened up my crosshair a little bit. So however you initiate your laser, you do want to go ahead and do that. And then you can see my little green laser. Go to your layout, however you move your machine. Every machine will be a little different, so I won't focus on you know how to do that on your particular machine. That would be a video all on its own. Come over here to your layout. Get my... Set up there. And the Solaris and a few others have like almost like a crosshair uh, deal kind of like that. So I can line it up exactly on the crosshair that I made. If you have like a red dot, you just want to put it right there on the center that you made. Super simple. If you're on a Solaris, you can come over here and activate your projector. And be able to see exactly what it's going to look like to make sure that, that placement is exactly what you're happy with. Um, feature right there is well worth its weight in gold. Um, so I'm happy with that. So we're good here. You can hit OK. Another piece of advice is make sure you got a full bobbin because it can be a pain to get this off if you run a bobbin thread. So make sure you got enough bobbin thread to get you through it. Thread your machine up and uh, we're ready to go. So we're about to hit start here. Just make sure you put your water soluble on top. You can tape this if you want to make sure it stays in place. Make sure you got enough of that cut as well. And drop your foot and let it go. And once you're finished up, you just want to carefully take it out of the hoop or out of the machine just like you put it in. You can tear off your topping. Anything that stays behind, you can come back with. Like a pin or something. You might be able to get a grip on it. Yeah. Just like that and then I just kind of pop the hoop out like so and then get a lot of questions about like how close to cut your cutaway I typically just stay around like you know a half inch or so around it um, that way you're not leaving a bunch but you're not getting right up against it and make it not easy to do yeah, just unstick it. I'm gonna come and cut all that around. I'm gonna grab my marking pen and get rid of that extra purple I made. But that's all there is to it. Whether you're doing a sweatshirt, jacket shirt, um, you're gonna be using the same stabilizers, the same hooping techniques. Um, it's very easy. It's a very beginner friendly um, project. So I got some more of those I'm gonna be doing and I hope y'all stay tuned for them. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.